hello students today i am here with another video from the chapter fiber to fabric of class 7th from your ncert book as we have completed this chapter now i am here to discuss the question answers and other exercises with you all for this chapter and i will tell you that i would request you all to write down in the notebook so that it becomes a revision for you all and you all have understood this chapter that will also be very much clear so that we go on to the first question that is uh, you must be familiar with the following nursery rhymes there are two rhymes the lines of the two li rhymes are being given here first one is baba black sheep have you any wool and the second line is mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow now the first question which part of the black sheep have wool okay as we have discussed in the chapter that the fleece of the sheep okay so the fleece of the sheep has uh, the hair which is uh, used for making wool so the answer would be the fine and soft under hair that grows close to the skin of the sheep have wool so this will be the answer now the b part b question is what do you mean by the white by the white fleece of the lamb the white fleece of the lamb means it is the skin okay it is the it is a part of the skin which is very close to the sheep where which contains hair so the answer will be uh, white fleece of the lamb means the color of the fleece of the lamb is white lamb is white okay and you all know that the fleece uh, the wool which is obtained from the fleece of the sheep is usually in uh, it is usually in white black or brown so here the fleece color was white so you will write that it means it is showing you the color of the fleece that is white in color now the second question the silk worm is a caterpillar or a larvae silk worm is a caterpillar or a larvae or you have to uh, you have to choose the correct option so the first option is a means it is a caterpillar or b it is a larvae or it is it is a larva or it is both larva and a caterpillar or it, uh, answer number fifth option number fifth is neither a or nor b so the answer would be silk worm is ca is a caterpillar as well as it is a larvae because it is a part of a larvae okay so it means it is both a and b next third question which of the following does not yield wool yield wool so uh, the options are yak camel goat and woolly dog so in among these four uh, animals woolly dog is the animal which does not yield wool now the fourth question which what must be what is meant by the following terms you have to write down what is the meaning of these terms meaning means you have to write down the definition in one one line so what is the meaning of the word rearing the first is the rearing what is the definition for, for this word how will you define rearing rearing is raising and taking care of livestock cow buffalo goats for the commercial purpose okay these animals are fed they are provided shelters and they are bred for the yield of milk meat and wool for example sheep is reared mainly for wool they are mainly reared in the areas with low rainfall now reared sheep eat grass and leaves they are also fed on the mixture of pulses with corn jowar and oil cakes and minerals in winters they are kept indoors so and they are fed on the dry fodder and green leaves and uh, dry fodder leaves and grain so this will be the answer for this question next is shearing now shearing is a process in which the thick coat of the hair is shed off which is obtained for uh, which is shed off for obtaining the wool okay now the process of uh, cutting of woolen fleece from the sheep with a thin layer of skin is called shearing it is done by a machine similar to those of the barbers for removing your hair and the third is sericulture sericulture is the breeding and management of the silk worm okay it is the manage or it is the breeding of silk worm silk worm which is used for producing for production of silk which is known as sericulture now different kinds of silk silk is there uh, mulberry silk tussle silk okay uh, with different textures which is obtained from variety of silk moth then now the next question now the next question is fifth question given following is a sequence of the uh, steps 
in the processing of wool which of the following is the missing step so you have to write down the missing step and so here it will be shearing after that shearing what comes scoring comes the uh, option second uh, second blank will be filled with the word scoring and the third is sorting is already written then the fourth word will be filled by spinning <laughs> after spinning it will be dyeing then rolling of silk uh, uh, rolling of uh, yarn that is wool okay now here it is a processing of wool so you'll write down that it is the uh, yeah it is the rolling of wool fine now here next will be the next question number 6 make a sketch of two stages of the life history of the silk moth which is directly related to the production of the silk so you have to draw only two stages of the silk moth so here uh, the silk moth uh, in this you will draw the life cycle of the silk moth where only two stages are there means the caterpillar caterpillar and the cocoon stage cocoon stage you will draw these two okay so you could show the life cycle of the silk silk worm here silk moth here in this question now question number 7th question number 7th is this out of the following which are the two terms related to the silk production now which are the two terms which is related to the silk production before answering the question i would like to tell you the hints of the question hints which is given for this question okay hints are first one silk production involves cultivation of mulberry leaves and rearing of silk worm okay so the first hint would be what is the it is the silk production which involves cultivation of mulberry leaves as well as rearing of the silk worm and the scientific name of the mulberry is morus alba so here the two hints are given so we'll, we'll find out uh, similar to these hints what are which are these which of the words are used for the similar purpose which is used for silk production the so, for, so the first word will be sericulture which is related for the rearing of silk just now we have discussed about in this in the previous questions and the next will be moriculture so this these are the two words which is used for the silk production and it is the it is the scientific name of the mulberry now next we have to match the column in the from in we have to match the words of column number 1 with those of column number 2 okay so we'll, we are going to match this next is the first question for this uh, for match the column is so scoring scoring is the cleaning of the sheared skin it is the second step of uh, processing of wool next is mulberry leaves mulberry leaves is uh, which one will be the answer for this question mulberry leaves is a food for silk worm second will be matched with this now yak is wool yielding animal and cocoon for cocoon what you are going to write cocoon is going to yield silk fibers okay so four options we have studied scoring is this one now uh, the fifth option is just uh, the fifth option this reeling is left so this fifth option will be is extra one you could write the answer for this or just uh, leave like that only okay and uh, now i just try like to revise this sixth question that for making the sketch of the two stages you have to make the sketch of the uh, cocoon okay as well as you have to draw the caterpillar molting stage so i just show you the picture of the life cycle of this uh, silk worm so these were the two diagrams which is showing you the stages which is involved in the sericulture okay so you could draw the stages from here itself okay Uh, so these are the two stages one is cocoon and another one is the silk worm okay so these two are the stages which you could draw next uh, one more uh, cy life cycle which i have shown you is here so this molting stage and the cocoon stage this one these two okay so you will draw the complete life cycle in this answer fine now the next question is 
till here we have discussed now i'll write like to discuss the next question that is question number 9 given below is a crossword puzzle based on this lesson use hints to fill in the blanks fill in the space provided uh, to complete these words so you are given the hints as down and across d for down and the a means across so we'll fill this answer uh, thorough washing what is the answer what is the word which is used for thorough washing okay that is which uh, option number d a d a is here d a uh, where is it 3 uh, this 1 a 1 uh, 1 d 1 d is here okay so 1 and down so what you are going to write here it is scoring so the answer is scoring s c o u r i in G okay it is scoring next is next is or it could be uh, it could be just as score here two options are not given it could you could write thorough washing means score okay score s c o u r it's not scoring next is second number animal fiber animal fiber is 2 d 1 2 3 4 boxes are given so you could write which name wool or silk okay so it is an animal fiber it could be wool or silk so we'll write silk s i l k okay, you could write wool also here next is a long thread like structure long thread like structure it is fiber question number 3d fiber f i b okay now next across keep warm first one first and across okay so what will be the answer keep warm keeps warm means whole w double o l it means the answer for this 2d will be silk okay next question number two its leaves are eaten up its leaves are eaten up by silk worm so which one whose leaf is eaten up mulberry's leaf too mulberry so answer will be mulberry here this one 2a b e double r y okay so answer will be here mulberry next is the hatch hatches from the egg it hatches from egg of moth so answer is e is already given here so uh, the answer will be caterpillar c a double t e r p a i double l a r okay so write down in this so in your notebook i will uh, tell you not to draw this uh, puzzle you could write uh, the question in the form of uh, the question could be name the following you could write in the form of name the following or answer in one word okay answer in one word you could write short answer question you could write so you could you could draw this puzzle or either or you could draw you could just write down the question as answer in short one word answer give one word answer okay so this will be the and this was all about the chapter uh, about the chapter this uh, fiber to fabric okay so in this chapter i we have discussed about the uh, various uh, various animal fiber and mainly two we have discussed about wool and about silk we have discussed and then we have also discussed about the uh, about the various steps in processing of wool then we have also discussed about the life cycle of silk moth then we have also discussed about the way of uh, obtaining the silk fiber that is processing of silk and then i have told you how this silk was discovered accidentally in china and that the route which was taken up by the traders uh, for uh, trading of the silk is known as silk uh, route okay and nowadays it is very it is it is very it is uh, costly also it is costlier than wool so both wool as well as the silk these are the two natural fibers but it is obtained from animals 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एक्सरसाइजेज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एंड आई थिंक नाउ द एक्सरसाइजेज ऑफ द चैप्टर वुड बी मोर क्लियर टू यू ऑल एज वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड दिस चैप्टर आफ्टर रीडिंग दिस सो प्लीज कम्प्लीट द चैप्टर क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एंड एंड इन योर नोटबुक सो दैट इट विल बी अ प्रैक्टिस